Hi guys, my name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. I am the creator and director of the Adventures of Mukoza and Nancha. Uh, today, I want to take some time to answer some, you know, questions that have been posed to me by, you know, some art friends and some people who are interested in comic books on uh, on our Facebook page and also the website. Uh, I'll be giving you a tip on how I'm lettering my uh, the comic book for the Adventures of Mukoza and Nancha. Uh, we have two versions, the companion one and then the wildlife one. But anyway, uh, a lot of people you know, don't pay a, as attention to the lettering part of the comic book. And often, you know, they'll f finish the artwork and it looks beautiful. But then they don't give the lettering uh, as much as att attention as it should. So what I'm going to be showing you is a quick tip on how to create the balloons and also how to do the lettering. Uh, this is certainly not, you know, how it's done all over the, the, the comic book industry, but it's just the way I do it, and I found it to be very fast, and also I'm able to get high resolution, uh, you know, lettering from uh, Flash. Yes, Flash. You know, people might ascribe to it as something like only does, you know, vector animations and for websites, but it's, it's a pretty powerful uh, vector illustration program, and so I'm going to be using uh, when I'm lettering and I'm also working on some com comic books I tend to use you know sketchbook pro and photoshop when it comes to lettering part of it I jump into uh, flash to do the lettering for that so I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how I do that and the reason why I actually choose uh, flash over say illustrator you can still use illustrator but I'm just gonna show you how you can use flash to create the balloons and also to do the lettering part of the, uh, the comic book and as an example, I'm going to be using the Koza uh, Anansha Companion comic book. So let's jump in. So here we are in uh, CS4. I'm using Adobe Flash uh, CS4. And by default, uh, you know, usually it Flash will ask you to open a new document. And it's going to come in about 550 by 400. That's the default. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what I do is I go to File, uh, Import, Import to Stage, uh, so that I can find um, work with the image on the list, new document. And here's one that I've opened, and I've imported uh, this, you know, panel or this page from uh, the comic book from Koza and Nancha. And if you notice that uh, the size is 3,500, you know, by 8 and 4,600, uh, you need to change the documents uh, dimensions to match that so I'll create a new layer this is gonna be the layer that I use uh, I put the balloons and the text on top of so uh, if we go to say a hundred percent this is p you know fairly high resolution so it's we can work at uh, 50 percent so you can see the the size and the framing so anyway if you've left space you know for balloons in your artwork um, of course, that's always a good thing to have once you talk to the person who's doing the artwork if you're doing it yourself. So what I do is I start with uh, the oval tool, and here you get to control uh, the dimension of the, the stroke. So make sure you have locked the other layers that you don't want to work with, and it's a good ex you know exercise to label the layers. Um, I'll call this. Uh, uh, balloons or just bubbles, speech bubbles, and we'll call this is the artwork, and we'll create one more layer, <coughs> and we'll call that uh, the text. Okay, lock that layer. Now let's work off of the bubbles one, and you know um, I'll start simply by dragging, and depending on how you want the speech bubble to be so you click that and by default it's gonna be you know filled with black but you can change that to white and you have to make sure you, you have the this selected now if I were to zoom in here if you notice it has two elements it has the the path around it the stroke and then it has the area that is filled with text where the text is going to be so I turn uh, change that color to white and you have the ability to change the stroke you know to maybe two depending again on the style that you're going with for the comic book um, 
let's go back to around 50 percent so this is the beginning of our uh, the bubble speech bubble double click on it just move it a little bit over here now <coughs> this is where the beauty of flash comes in is that if I want the speech bubble to come to her um, I'll draw two lines like that and another line and make, make them intersect uh, select my selection tool just delete those extra lines delete the one that's inside and that one uh, get the paint bucket and fill that one shape and we're gonna delete that as well so there you have a quick you know speech bubble and the cool thing is if I double click on the outline I can still change that to like say a stroke of four and you get like a thicker stroke you, mean you can go as high as you you want uh, as long as it matches your style in your comic book okay so for this one because the lines are in you know, one you're trying to make the lines kind of you know uniform like consistent uh, let's stick with the uh, say four okay <coughs> and always zoom out you know again this is like a painting you always have to step back to make sure it, it, you know it looks nice okay so we'll go back to 50 percent and this is where this is the reason that I love you know flash you see this at the end of this uh, speech bubble guess what you can move it anywhere and wherever you put it it's gonna stay okay if I put it here uh, it can stay if I want it to point at the, the lady who is talking I can also do that and then if I zoom in uh, this is vector by the way at 800 pixels or the 800 uh, you know magnification zoom in it still has you know <laughs> the integrity of uh, the vector outlook so that's the beauty of this so then if I want to give it like a nice curve just come over here drag a little bit and also this so you get that nice curve and watch this you can still curve uh, turn the corner and it will point in the direction that uh, you're looking for so uh, this is a really good way of what of creating speech bubbles instead of you know some people go and buy speech bubbles from you know online but you can make your own and then you can make a library out of this so essentially you could copy that control C uh, paste and you'll be able to move this over here maybe just take it and it's pointing to him and adjust the you know, the curvature so if we go back to 50 percent <coughs> I have uh, one a layer here that has uh, some text. And just take this up, put it over here. Yeah. Let it move. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to increase the point to maybe like uh, 10. Oh, even bigger. Let's change the. Let's see. I have a letter for Mastan Cosa. the width of that and increase the font size so that it kind of matches fills the box now the key is to make sure that the letters fit nicely inside so not too much space on the outside which is a convention you know that people will recommend that you you try to think of it as a composition so that is the text is not floating so much and we can copy that and paste and we'll put another one here I am the principal head mistress Let 
mistress, head mistress, how can I help you, Sarah? So there you go. So you have um, a very easy way, you know, of making a speech bubbles always, you know, with the knowledge that you can always adjust, you know, this little corner over here, and you can select and group these so that it's always like moving together and group them up. But this is uh, what I wanted to show you again a way of creating very cool speech bubbles that are high resolution and uh, the phone that I'm using here is uh, Blendboard Pro <coughs> which I recommend which is a standard for uh, when you're doing uh, comic book you know lettering so Blendboard Pro, Blam Bot, Pro. so I hope this has been helpful so the next time you're working on your comic book you know think of know using flash or even illustrator but I definitely recommend that you use uh, you know make use of things that you already have in your tool set instead of trying to buy new things so there you go speech bubbles inside of flash quick and easy and you end up getting a vector render out of it all so you can always just export this and it will be end up you can export it as a, an AI file thank you so much again uh, when you get a chance do visit uh, our Facebook page at uh, again in Koza and Nancha TV series a seed from Koza Nancha and you know share this with your friends uh, <laughs> and like the page and you can also visit us uh, on our website at Nkoza and Nancha .com and check out the progress you can you know visit the gallery and see what we're doing but um, that's what that's this is what I'm using to you know, speed up the process of creating the uh, the comic book and you know get heading to print. But anything that can help you, you know, speed up the production of your comic book, I, I mean, it's always handy. So I hope you this was helpful, guys. Bye bye.